Prince Philip, 97, was left somewhat shaken after the car crash which involved his Land Rover colliding with a Kia near the Queen's Sandringham State in Norfolk. The Duke of Edinburgh escaped uninjured, Buckingham Palace confirmed, but two women in the other involved car were hospitalized. One suffered a broken wrist. A nine-month-old baby escaped unharmed. Royal sources have now revealed Queen Elizabeth II's husband has been struggling since the horrible accident occurred. How is Prince Philip doing after the car accident? In a letter to Emma Fairweather, 46, who was injured in the crash the Duke of Edinburgh conceded, I was somewhat shaken after the accident. A royal source has also revealed the accident has left the 97 years old Duke struggling and more frail. The source told The Sun, he has been visibly more since he was pulled from the wreck. The truth is away from public eyes this has shaken him really badly, as it would anyone. The idea he may have hurt someone would mortify him. He's faced criticism for not being in touch with victims sooner. But anyone who has been in a crash knows for legal reasons you have to be so careful about apologizing and making contact. The Duke of Edinburgh has since penned a letter to Ms. Fairweather, saying he was deeply sorry. In the letter, Prince Philip wrote, I would like you to know how very sorry I am for my part in the accident at the Babingley Crossroads. I have been across that crossing any number of times and I know very well the amount of traffic that uses that main road. It was a bright sunny day, and at about 3 in the afternoon, the sun was low over the wash. In other words, the sun was shining low over the main road. In normal conditions I would have no difficulty in seeing traffic coming from the Dursingham direction, but I can only imagine that I failed to see the car coming, and I am very contrite about the consequences. The Duke added, I was somewhat shaken after the incident, but I was greatly relieved that none of you were seriously injured. As a crowd was beginning to gather, I was advised to return to Sandringham House by a local police officer. I have since learned that you suffered a broken arm. I am deeply sorry about this injury. I wish you a speedy recovery from a very distressing experience. The letter was signed off yours sincerely Philip.